there! Hey, come on in. We're going to show you a video on um, what I'm creating. Hey, thanks for joining us on YouTube. What are you doing here? Hi everybody, I'm Brian Adams. I make all sorts of different things here and there. If you haven't figured out my channel yet, or maybe you're just new to it, I actually have a ray gun here, a ventriloquist there, uh, <laughs> monster skull who tells jokes every week, and that is actually where I'm at this time on this video here. I had created a monster skull, but always felt that there were some limitations to him as a ventriloquist because there wasn't much to him. So in this video here, I'm actually showing you how to build a torso. Um, this is actually a kind of a two-in-one type of thing. You can use this if you're doing a ventriloquist character. Uh, you could use this if you're uh, just making a PVC uh, character to make for scary Halloween or just fun uh, all. Like for me, it's all year round. There's so many people say, is it for Halloween? No, it's for all year round. Uh, so anyway, uh, let's take a look at this video and uh, you can see what I'm talking about. Let's take a look. So as you can see like on this skeleton here, uh, you can see the way the design is. I'm doing off of this PVC uh, skeleton that I made up. Uh, what I did was I went ahead and, and uh, built this out um, with the curvature uh, of um, bent this wire out and then I've just taped it in the back basically we're just getting a front shape right now um, so and what I use to bend these out these are just coat hanger wires uh, so that I got them uh, bent uh, evenly on both sides and then also what I'm doing is this is um, paper that I have this is actually a little thicker paper um, I use this for uh, from my artwork for my certificates. Um, this here um, is um, the paper that I'm using. It's a little bit thicker than average paper, as you can kind of see, um, kind of stands up. Um, anyway, I'm cutting those in um, like, oh my God, what is that? About an inch and a quarter, inch and a half stripes. So, so I'm cutting those and I'm putting that on and they're kind of folding over the flap. I wanted to give, you know, I wanted to give it a little extra uh, you know strength here, and then I'm just kind of cutting those um, Like yeah, I made three cuts there, and then I you know bent the first two back and then these two and I cut off the excess Anyway, I'm starting to build it out um, with that what I've done is um, Because this shape goes down like this and the ribs actually end here um, I had to start this up where I could get a connection across here and I laid three pieces of paper on there and then glued those all in places and in places <laughs> I glued them all in place and then um, then I went ahead and cut it and then I went ahead and put this rod here uh, down I guess I could have done that in the beginning but um, I didn't that's how I did it <laughs> and so I I glued this piece of paper to connect the two and then I'll put the connection there but now I have the actual uh, full length uh, that I want the ribs to be because uh, this is the spine right down here in this area here to the to the um, pelvis bone okay so I even got Skelly holding out here he's holding that uh, that piece of metal stake here so what I've done is I've actually have it here where I put the paper on and I've actually taken um, you know cut uh, cut it in in different sections here and then I'm actually putting some glue on it and I'm folding it up and as I do that um, it's grabbing around and I'm just kind of putting that part for the side of the rib here as you can see I've kind of I already have that part of the rib done uh, that much is done and uh, we're still working with it we're get, coming around the edge there um, we have the top part here um, that is uh, already kind of brought out and then of course the top ribbing is on the side it's connected here and it's coming down and that's okay so now as I'm moving around the house a little bit because I've got a lot of stuff going on right now the time of year 
Okay, so this is what we've got so far. You can kind of see there's the contour, the shape, and that there is going on, and it comes up like that. And you can kind of, you can see how the shape is, and then how this is going here. Okay, in case I didn't cover that already. And um, so I probably have, with the, with the width this is, I need five more to wrap around and then actually what's going to happen is this paper here to here will touch, will connect, not necessarily here, uh, not necessarily here, but uh, from here to here. And so we're carrying that around five more on each side and then we'll be able to start doing the back part. There's what it looked like in the back. Uh, and you can see here's the wire in the back that just uh, held together by tape right now and then this here we took out the the uh that bar that metal part actually you know what that thing was the part that was holding it all together that was actually a um <laughs> that was actually a screen window frame you know when you buy a screen uh window frame and you uh you put it to you put a screen window together that's what it was it was just an extra piece that i just had down here to hold this in place but now that this is uh, pretty much in shape uh I don't need it anymore for right now. What I've done is I filled everything in. As you can see, uh, this part and then this part here has been filled in. Um, there's that part there. So here's the front of the uh, rib cage. And let me turn it around. Let me back up a little bit. Okay, so there's what that rib cage looks like. Uh, and you could actually use this for, uh, you know, if you wanted this on the on the skeleton, if you were making a, a monster on the PVC piping. Um, but um, I'm using um, this PVC piping to be able to build this because it is in the dimensions that I want it. Okay, since we have this, this is the torso, and since monster skull is so big, uh, his head stick actually will come down to right about here, which is equal to right here. So what I want to do is build uh, a construction so that his, it caves in here, but I want to have clearance, but I want it to be able to go, to be able to fit down in here. So what I'm doing is kind of making, well, you'll see as I go. So this is the support <laughs> to make it fit the way I want it to. Uh, so to give it extra strength right now, what I did is I put a teriyaki stick, uh, from there to here. I put a piece of paper there. Uh, it's just the structure to hold it. It's not actual shape so that I can start building this out so that I can, um, build a little area in here for the head stick to build. Okay. Kind of show you inside there. I'm actually building a wall, um, for the lower part. You can kind of see it right there. I'm going to kind of follow up that rib like that. And go down around like you see over here. We're going to let that dry. Just glue that edge and we're going to build onto that. Okay, so now you can see this bottom part. It's all been filled in. Let me pull it up. It's all kind of shaped like that. It's thin. Like that. I got that kind of shape to it. There's the inside, it looks like that. You see there's the original piece that was holding everything there. Here's a further away shot of the back of it. it looks like. I'll show you what it kind of looks like uh, looking at it front wise. It's, uh, right now it looks like that. Hey, I hope you found that interesting. Um, that was something I thought I'd show you, uh, how I'm doing it. And uh, I'll show you a little bit more uh, in part two, how things are uh, how things are being conducted with it. And uh, so thank you so much for tuning in today. And I hope you enjoyed it. And if you like what you see here, I make all sorts of different things here. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you next time. So long, everybody.